right, thanks guys for coming. Um, let me start my presentation. Um, first, let me introduce about myself very quickly. Uh, my name is Yuto Kamura. I'm from Japan, and I'm a software engineer working online. And I've been leading a project which aims to redesign our service architecture with putting Kafka into the central of it to let it work as the data transfer path between services. And I'm also an Apache Kafka contributor, and I've been contributing a number of issues to the upstream. Uh, here's just a few that I'm personally thinking which were uh, important uh, improvements for Kafka. And I've also published a blog post about Kafka streams, so if you're interested, um, please take a look. So here's today's outline. Um, for the first part, I'm going to talk about uh, how we use Kafka Outline. But for the second part, uh, it will be a really technically um, detailed topic, which is about uh, achieving the deeper observ observability of Kafka Broker's performance, which led me to contribute Kafka for 6 to the upstream. So first of all, Line uh, is a messaging service. And it, it offers uh, basic messaging functionalities, such as texting, free phone call, video and an image transfer. And our service has about 169 million active users in Asian countries, uh, where we have majority of share, like uh, Japan, Taiwan, and Thailand. And we also pro provide um, various family services around that messaging functionality, such as news, uh, music streaming, and personal live video streaming as well. So here's, here's an essence uh, of our use of Kafka. So majority of our producers are application servers, and they produce uh, various kinds of data into our Kafka cluster, like, for example, um, structured events and RPC request response logs, which is different from HTTP's access log, as it contains not only the HTTP-related information, but also the payload of RPC's request and response. And some application produces um, the task processing requests, which are supposed to be processed in a dedicated um, task background task processor. Also, since we're using Apache HBase, uh, distributed key value store built on top of Hadoop as our primary key value store, uh, we're feeding its uh, mutation logs called write ahead logs into our Kafka broker for various reasons, such as constructing the backup creating the complete replica of master database to let other services to read from it. So we can isolate the workload between our main service and other services which have the different level of its criticalness. And we're also running uh, Kafka Streams, a special Kafka Stream instance, which is uh, responsible for creating uh, subtopics from a master topic. A master topic is a topic uh, which is directly produced from producers, and typically it tends to have huge amount of um, messages in it. But it is often um, some consumers interested in just a set of messages available on a master topic. And if we have to let them consume from the master, master topic, it will let them huge amount of tra traffic that, that they have to prepare sufficient number of servers to you know, accept the entire traffic which they don't want to do. So for such cases, uh, we create uh, subtopics categorizing uh, the messages of the master, master topic by type of events, for example. And we, set, uh, we create a preset of uh, topics which has less number of messages than the master topic. So consumer can selectively choose one of those topics to consume the minimal amount of messages that they really need. And on the consumer side, uh, we have uh, many consumer applications which implement some business logic like updating database or cleaning up data in reaction to receiving an event. And we also have a threat detection system which is built on top of stream processing with Apache Storm. And of course, we are feeding almost all the data into uh, Hadoop for generating uh, many kinds of stats like KPI report or debugging utilities for developers.